Hello and welcome to Stage Screen and In Between. I'm Helen. Today I have a very special guest, a dear friend of mine, Fran Petito, and she does so many things that I'm going to let her explain to you exactly what it is that she does. Fran, <laughs> tell our audience what you do. Well, first off, Helen, thank you for inviting me. It's wonderful to be here. You're a very gracious welcome. host, and thank I'm so, so excited. Much. You have a great show. Uh, what do I do? Well, I do what's called collaborative philanthropy. What that actually means is I serve on a number of charities and some of them are grassroots and they do not have the ability to raise funds and to complete their mission. So we kind of take them, put them all together, we do events with uh, celebrities, other sports management firms, other charities, whether they be national, international, or local. So we're very involved on all three levels. Uh, what we're doing right now, and part of the reason why I'm speaking with you, <laughs> We're hosting the New York Sports Scene Children's Foundation uh, Celebrity Golf Classic on August 31st at the Hamlet, which is very exciting. Got some very big headliners coming and a lot of activities. We have six hole-in-ones. It's a great event. More yeah, and, and, and it's great because you're going to be able to have the kids absolutely have a pool party there at the yeah. Hamlet. It's a free pool party. We have children with special needs, disabilities, children at risk. Uh, just kids coming out to have a good time that just really needed a break from their, yes. their daily lives. Yeah. So. And what a nice ending for the summer too because school is right around the corner and this exactly. will be a great adventure for them. Exactly. We have showing up that day is Miss Teen New York 2015 Rachel Taylor Goldsmith. Uh, she'll be making a special appearance from 1 to 2. I saw pictures of her. She's absolutely gorgeous. She is and, and quite a unique individual. She does teen depression as her platform. She's oh as her crown holder. Yes. So, very important topic, and we also merged that with the National Organization for Women's Safety Awareness. She's been a volunteer with us for many years. I serve as the president to the founder, Lydia Strepidowski. Yes, know. yes. And um, She has a great show, too. <laughs> yes, she does. She has a great show. and Everything uh, Lydia. Right? Everything, Everything Lydia, Lydia yes. on the Daily Blue, yes. and very good friend. Uh, we have a great organization where we, team, where we teach <laughs> women and teen personal safety awareness. So we have schools and individual corporations and businesses that want to keep their people safe. When you talk about personal safety, does that have to do with safety in the home, safety on the road, safety in the workplace? What kind of safety is that actually? Common sense safety in your life. It's an adaptation of how you should live. And Lydia has put together some really cute and clever things, the stiletto stomp and things like that. Taking your everyday items and using them as weapons to protect yourself just enough to get away. You just mentioned stilettos. Is that one of the weapons? Yes. What if you can only wear flats? Well, then you have a pocketbook that serves as wow. a weapon, uh, hairspray, brushes. You'd have to come to one of the seminars. I'm going to. Instance. That sounds very enlightening. Yes. Yeah. And it's great because we involve all ages. We've taught kids from five years old to over 100 years old have been in our audience. So it's a great, great charity, great mission, uh, great initiative. And we're utilizing Rachel Taylor to come on down and she'll be our guest autographer. We also have your young men coming. Yes, I have... Uh, Tommy, the balloon artist, and he does the most amazing thing with balloons, other than make swords and hats. He's right. just phenomenal. I can't even explain all the things he does. You have to actually see it. And yeah. I'm going to have him on the show, so you will be able to see what he does. Fabulous. And I also have Jules, who is on um, uh, the... Uh, X Factor? At the X Factor, right. yes, with his group, singing group, and they're going to actually spend time with the kids. Yeah. So, uh, And he's very excited about that. He's very good about doing charity work, and he's so welcome to be on board with that. You know, I've found over the years, that's the real clue to New York Sports and Children's Foundation. Uh, the founder, Mike Catino, publisher for over 40 years, New York Nightlife, Chicago Nightlife, Dash Magazine, Paintball Sports, New York Sports Scene Magazine. And when we founded the charity in 1995, it was because so many of these celebrities have children who have illnesses. Uh, there's a, a lot of smaller grassroots organizations, like I said before, that are not able to get the funding. And what we do is we partner with them. Yes. We've partnered with politicians, sports management firms, different charities and organizations. And what we do is we bring the all-stars and the children because to make a dream come true for a child especially an ill child yeah. to give them their sports hero or superstar yeah. celebrity and give them that dream that's yeah. really what new york sports scene is about providing the wishes for children for people with ailments that do not have the ability to make these dreams come true and mike catino has allowed me for the last 40 years that i've known him to live my dream 
anything that I want to do, and he does that for everybody that he knows. Yeah. Very caring and, and giving man. Yes, yeah. and, and Fran, as you mentioned, you know, no one is exempt from having personal loss or tragedy and uh, right. circumstances come exactly. up. So that's why, you know, celebrities a lot of time, sometimes it's only when it hits home for them. Maybe a relative right. has something go wrong right. and they say, gee, I, I want to help somebody else because, you know, uh, I'll have good karma and I just want to. Yeah. I just want to. You, you know? know, it's amazing when you ask people give. This particular event collaborates between our honoree, Brandon Steiner. Uh, his charity of choice is the Family Service League of Westchester. He uh -huh. has two youth homes there, one for boys, one for girls. Very unique uh, entity as well. They provide a safe haven for the children when there's dispute or drugs or some kind of rehab going on in the family that's not conducive for their well-being. Yeah. They're taken out and put into these youth homes and, and with the hope that they would go back to their families. So yeah. it's a wonderful thing. Um, I also serve as the Vice President of Yes We Care. Which, yes, yes, I want to know more about that. Yes, okay. we care. Yes, yeah. we care was founded by uh, world-renowned jazz musician Paul Sequence Ferguson. He's and played. he plays fabulous. I yes, heard he did. him at an event, and I actually taped him. You I did. didn't know who he was, and he <laughs> caught my ear. I said, "Wow, he's really good. I got to get him on camera." <laughs> Paul is an amazing human being. He's a two-time prostate cancer survivor. He's a veteran, served 12 years in the army. Uh, this man gives every single moment of every single day. He only puts others first came from a religious background. He's had a lot of hardship in his life. The man smiles and brings goodness to other people, even when he doesn't have a dollar in his pocket. Awesome. I admire him, he inspires me. We are able, in a small, again, grassroots, we only have about two dozen people that are involved. We provide support, education, wellness, and uh, free Helping Hands gift bags for the homeless. We support our veterans, Paul plays all the time for free, whether they be for veterans in the VA hospital in Northport or, or others. Um, he will play anywhere the veterans are, Long Island yeah. Abate. Just had you know, a, I just had a veteran here who's 93 years old. God bless him. And he's a World War II survivor, and he was active during World War II. So when I have that show ready, that's a show you'll really be uh, wanting to and see. We'd love to post it on our website, yesweekend.net, oh, yeah. because it's very important that we remember that is our tagline, that you oh, are not forgotten. That's it. You know, because you know what happens as well, when you are going through an ailment such as, you know, cancer or something that's so debilitating that it hurts your family members to go see you. Yes. That's where we come in. We bring them books. Paul goes up to the hospital, touches their toes, gives them some cinnamon no. gum, a book, a, a crossword puzzle, just to remind them that you're not forgotten. You know, and that can also happen when you mention uh, uh, teens and children with depression. It's very hard for people, even family members, to visit children in institutions right. or the uh, psychiatric unit of a hospital when they're ill because it brings them down. So Absolutely. I understand what you mean by having somebody even from the outside come in to show that they care. And someone that's been there. They've yeah. laid in that bed for five months during chemo treatment. Yeah. You know, they've been left alone, their family lives out of state and they had yes. nobody to come visit them. So these are the things where we're, anything I do is always from the heart. Uh, it's not about money. No. The money, it comes. If you do the right thing, it'll be there. We have great supporters. The Golf Classic. I mean, this is crazy. We've got six hole-in-ones. Yeah. Fran, tell, tell oh us my God. about the prizes that we okay. have. I mean, really, they're good. Okay, the Drive Tea is sponsoring a uh, hole-in-one uh, $10,000 cash. $10,000 cash? Well, that's not it. We have another $10,000 hole because... I don't golf that good. <laughs> well, these, they're not all par threes. Okay. But the founder, Mike Catino, said, you know what, I want everybody to win. Let's see if we can do that. So Atlantic Auto Mall is gracious enough to put a Nissan and a Hyundai. Two separate holes. Wow. Wait. Uh, Great Oak Marine is supplying a four winds boat. A ride on a boat or you actually win the no, boat? No, the actual you boat. The boat. The boat. Wait, it gets better. Long Island Abate in Suffolk County, Harley Davidson with Stevens Motorcycle School who will teach you how to ride a 2015 Harley-Davidson on the hole. Wow. Six hole-in-ones. <laughs> Somebody's, we want you to win so bad. Yeah. If you haven't gotten a foursome yet, we need you to do that. We need you to go to NewYorkSportsScene.com or YesWeCare.net. 
please go on, make your reservations, show your support. We're helping children in hospitals. We have different programs, some of the upcoming events in November. New well, York. Well, first, this one is okay. Monday, August 31st. That's correct. And give the times. Uh, it starts at for a check in, 8 30 to 10 30, with the tee off at 11. It's a, sh a shamble. Um, we expect o over 100 golfers coming. We have about 200 people for dinner. Uh, it's a sports award dinner because we'll be honoring Brandon Steiner for his efforts and what he's done in oh, the world nice. of sports. Yes. Absolute monument in the industry. His partnership with Mike Catino has allowed us to make this the really high-end event of the year. And yeah. next year, holy cow, I can't <laughs> wait. Because <laughs> this is the inaugural year for this. Yes. So nobody even, not everybody knows about it yet, right. you know. Well, what happened was, although the foundation was started very early on, and we did a lot of events for... Uh, like I said before, different marketing firms, different politicians, different celebrities, Boomer Esiason, Jim Kelly of the Buffalo Bills, uh, you know, it's countless, the people, uh, the JDL, we've had so many City Meals for Wheels, we do so many things, it's not just about children, yes. that's our main focus, uh, we support children in hospitals, whether it be Winthrop University, Cancer Center for Kids, uh, Stony Brook, we have a number of them, and, and with this money that we get, we'll be able to continue that support in a bigger way than we've been able to do. Yes. So the founder had brain cancer, so for the last eight years, he's been battling that. Yeah, my, my sister had brain cancer, but she didn't make it. It had metastasized from breast cancer, so. Well, yeah. we thank God. Mike has made it on the other side. Right. Uh, vibrant, all there, having a great time, and, and enlisting his friends to just come on board. Let's make a difference. Yes. My personal philosophy is if we can touch hearts, we can change lives. So everything that we try and do, again, it's not about the money. It's about making an impact, changing well, someone's well, life. Well, you have such a blanket of charities that you help yes. that there's got to be something that touches your heart because right. you, you cover just about everything that could happen to a Absolutely. person. Absolutely. Veterans, children, homeless, cancer, autistic, special need children. We have such an array of people that need help yeah. are gracious for yeah. anything we yeah. offer because because people are touched in some way you got to be touched by something in exactly. your lifetime absolutely exactly some of the upcoming events yes um again new york sports team will partner with yes we care in november we're hoping to do uh feed the veterans at Farmingdale university because mike okay. does sit on the board uh, part of the proceeds will be making a small alumni sponsorship for the Farmingdale University okay. out of this event, the golf outing as well. Oh. So there's, again, a strong partnership. I went to Farmingdale. Oh, did you? Yeah, for oh, you're a while. An alum. For okay. a while. I was on the equestrian team. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Mike, yeah. actually, a number of years ago, was honored as one of the top 100 alum. Oh, wow. So he's, yeah, he sits on the board and he's very, very active and they're fabulous. I mean, what an educational institution yeah. we have here. Yeah. So people oh, forget yeah. that, and it's very yeah. important that they don't forget that. The other thing that we're doing, which is very exciting, we were, we are doing a partnership with Leonard's of Great Neck on December oh, nice. 14th. I love Leonard. Okay, wait. They have that staircase and the chandelier. He has got to be the most generous, heartfelt human being. He's allowing us to bring 1,000 children and their caregivers for a free holiday party oh, by wonderful. invitation only. Wonderful. No wonderful. photography. Okay. <laughs> we'll put you to work. Okay. <laughs> uh, all of the wait staff will be in costume, whether oh, it be that's frozen wonderful. or... Yeah, we'll have So a are you going to need costumes for that? I think they have... They're really... They've got it covered? I, now, is, is this the first year for that, Fran? Actually, they used to do it a number of years ago, and, you know, I think all the smaller charities got so big it became overwhelming. He didn't have the support staff to help. Yeah. So this year he, he said, here's what I want to do with you guys. So <laughs> we're doing it because... God bless him. Holy yeah. cow, what a wonderful thing. Oh, His that's team great. And fabulous. you know, that's right around the corner. I you know, know it's going to be here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So anybody that wants to donate about 600 teddy bears, we need your help because every kid gets a And you a want present. new ones, right? Oh, only new. Yeah. We can, anytime that there is a health issue, even at our pool uh, party coming up on August 31st, everything is brand new. Everything is sanitized. Mm -hmm. We have, uh, just for the golf adding, which we will have going forward, um, We've been able to get wonderful sponsors. One of the sponsors that just signed on yesterday, New York Life will be coming out by the pool and doing an ID kit for all the children that are there. That's important. Okay, that wait. That is important. They're yep. coming to our holiday party, and they're going to give every child there an ID kit wow. for their parents. That so is great. It's, it's capturing the moment. 
Yeah. It's savoring the life. Yes. It's touching hearts and changing lives. So it's, it's, wonderful. it's yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> Fran, you're fantastic. Oh, she's thank fantastic. You. She's phenomenal. That's why I said she has to introduce herself. She does so much. How could I remember all that? Okay, well, I'll tell you a little bit about my background. Yes, please. Okay. Very I, interesting lady. <laughs> I started in printing. I'm an expert in printing. Own my own business. I was a bookbinder to begin with, just okay. for anybody that really wants to know the minor details. Somebody actually came up to me recently and said, oh, you're the printer. And I went, oh, wow, that seemed like a whole lifetime yeah, ago. I forgot I did that. I did that, but I actually had a fleet of 13 people and seven salespeople. I employed people in Long Island. It was a wonderful experience. I was able to help women in the workplace and open an industry that had not been open to women previously. That's true. It was mostly men. Yeah. Yeah. I sat as the Long Island Director for the National Federation of Business and Professional Women. I portray Susan B. Anthony on a number of occasions. I'm one of the few people that's allowed into her home mm -hmm. to photograph in front of her portrait where she was arrested. So yeah. women's rights and the movement was very important. Uh, after that, I actually went to work for Nightlife magazine. I was the president and editor-in-chief of New York and Chicago Nightlife. Uh, I was also the editor-in-chief of Dash magazine, which was a health and wellness publication. Vice president of New York sports scene. I have a lot of titles. I have a very large head. <laughs> After no, leaving, she's very down to earth. Don't listen to her. <laughs> well, after <laughs> September 11th, uh, entertainment changed. I actually left nightlife at that point. We had lost a number of people and had taken a hard hit. My heart was little. I needed to recover. I went to work for Radio City in Madison Square Garden as their publishing director for their Radio City Entertainment Headliner magazine. Wonderful experience. Great organization. Absolutely loved working for such an icon like Radio City of Madison yeah. Square Garden. So that was very exciting. Travel to New York was a little hard on my health. I moved out to Long Island uh, with the job and went to work for the second largest ad agency on Long Island, Boston Williams. Loved that, became ill, retired. And Lydia pulled me out of retirement, <laughs> screaming and kicking. And now she's doing more work in retirement than she was I doing before. I don't actually say I'm retired anymore I know. because, you know, I'm writing for Nightlife again. Yes. We're, we're resurrecting a little bit of that, but that's for another show. Okay. <laughs> um, and then with the events we have, it's all hands-on. We're looking for volunteers. If anybody is moved by this or any of my interviews, I would ask that you reach out to me personally. Um, you have a, a website or an email that they can reach you at, Actually, or a phone. They can, uh, if they wouldn't mind calling me, I wouldn't. I would love to get your calls. My cell phone is six three one three two zero four four six eight. I will absolutely return the call if I do not get it the first call out. The office number for any further information about the golf classic or any of the events we have lined up is six three one five eight zero seven 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 two. My extension is one zero nine. That's the hotline. <laughs> A lot of fun. The hotline. Yeah. And we have the websites as well, as I mentioned before. Yes. New York Sports I'm going to put them up on the end of the Perfect. show. I'll, I'll have them in writing, yes. Perfect. So I, I'm blessed with the people that are around me and the people that understand what I do, such I know, as yourself. I know. Fran, you do a wonderful, wonderful job at everything that you do. Aww. Everything. <laughs> and I want to have you back on again another time when you want to talk about something else that you're doing. I mean, there's so many things that you do. And I'm going to also do a show. From the from, Hamlet, from covering the Hamlet. for the kids, yes. yes. Yeah, that's going to be exciting. Yeah. But yeah. you're going to also do some other stuff we haven't quite filled you in yet. But oh. we, we, as of this morning, we were told that out of all the celebrities, which, you know, just to name drop a few, Daryl Strawberry, Kelly Wright, Fox News anchor, Joe Morris, Otis Anderson, Greg Buttle, Sean Lindetta, I'm not name dropping. <laughs> I was told this morning, very early on, that... We have someone really big coming. Don't say it. I'm not. I, I'm, <laughs> we, we do want to keep it as a surprise for those right. who attend. You want to be surprised? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Dinner tickets are still available. All of these sponsorships and tea signs are now closed. We thank everybody for their support. We've gotten everybody from the Trump Organization, Ping, uh, Ultimate Limo. I mean, I, sometimes when I'm on these shows and I just pull names, I'm sorry if I can't say every single person. Yeah, because you um, can forget because it's a lot to remember. But the national brands that we have involved is, is just astounding to see some of the names. And you'll see on the Step and Repeat because we got them up there. John Papa Spurs and Eva Boutique and just, you know, all of our wonderful, wonderful, generous sponsors. And, and it's going to be a great day.
Good, great, good. Great. I'm really looking forward to it, Fran. Me too. I can't Thank wait. you for coming to visit oh, me and, my and being on the show. I love it. Thank you for your hospitality. It's always a pleasure. And I do want to say thank you to you because, you know, what you do, you seek us out. And that's very important because although I like to talk, I don't necessarily like to talk about myself as much as the foundation. And I appreciate that you give me the opportunity to just share with the people Kind of the people that are behind me, such yes. as yourself, such as Lydia, such as Paul Sequence Ferguson, Mike Catino, Allie Napoli. I couldn't do what I do without her. Kim Morin. I mean, she is our creative genius. Yeah, it takes a village. I mean, France yeah. is a million things, but you have a lot of people behind you right. that they're doing things as well. Oh, absolutely. We have an editor-in-chief, Brian Ravello. He's sick right now. We're, we're getting him better so he can be our MC. Uh, Denise LaRose holds down the office and the whole Ford, you know, Sarah, everybody kind of puts in and, and does what they do. And there's never a complaint. There's never, because we stay focused on the mission. And the mission is for the children, for the veterans, for the homeless, for others. For it's others. I was just going to say that in a nutshell. Yeah. It's for others, right? you know? Yeah. And one day we'll be another and we'll need the help, right? You know, I was on Fox <laughs> News Channel and Kelly Wright had covered Yes We Care with a wonderful Beyond the Dreams segment, which is up on YouTube. And one of the things he said to me, you know, why do you do this? I know you're moved by Paul and Mike and, I, and Lydia. I understand that, but why do you do this? And it reminds me of the days when I worked with the 109 Breast Cancer Coalition where I sat with Jerry Barish on the board and she said, why do you do this? You don't have breast cancer. And I said, because I may. Yeah. And because we all need to do our part to help those who can't help themselves. Yeah. And sometimes it's not about money. Yeah. It's not about things. It's about your time and your loving yeah. and your giving yeah. of your heart. And if you can, and, and that, that is valuable because right. you know we all have limited time. We don't even know how much time we have, so we have to be willing to share what we do have. Yeah, exactly. And thank you. I'm Good. so excited. You're welcome. I'm yeah. very excited about this Aww. event. Thank you for inviting me to attend and be part of it. And wonderful. I want you to come back on my show. You're a wonderful we'll woman. You're Aww. a dynamo. Thank you, sweetheart. She's a dynamo. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for tuning in. And stay tuned because I'm going to have all her information up for you to see.